Hi everyone, in this lecture we are going to develop the topic and task deletion functionality for our application. Alright, so first off I'm going to handle the task deletion. So there are three cases. Case 1, deleting individual tasks. Case 2, deleting topics with no tasks. And case 3, deleting topics with tasks. So first off, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to implement the functionality for deleting a single task. And I'm going to put it down below. So let's uh, create another uh, URL routing. I'm going to say it, it, it is going to be delete slash task slash uh, task ID. So each task also has an ID. And this is for deleting individual tasks. I feel like I should comment it deleting individual tasks all right what is the view function that is going to handle it is going to be delete task individual and then we are going to pass in task id as well in here now whenever we are deleting it uh, well it actually is up to you i'm going to stay consistent and i'm going to use our post method post method you can use the delete http get uh, http request but i'm going to use the post the post is going to handle deletion as well now um uh let's go ahead and let's implement the functionality so i'm going to say pending delete uh task so this is going to be the first we select the task and we store it within this pending delete task. That's why it says pending. It's not yet deleted. We first select it, then we delete it. So task.query dot, dot uh, filter by. Now we need to filter it because whenever we are deleting individual tasks, we we have to make sure that the user, when the user clicks on the task which has an ID of one, the task which has an ID of one has to be deleted, not the task with which has an ID of five. So that's basically the promise of our logic here. And I'm gonna set it to task ID. And we are gonna grab the first one. There should be one record, but just to say stay st safe, we are gonna declare the first method to get uh, a record, not an iterable. So if you don't say first, you're gonna get an iterable, which is gonna be like a lot of records. And then we are going to say target uh, topic ID. So topic ID. Which topic ID does this belong to? We are going to say pending delete task dot topic dot topic underscore ID. There we go. Let's grab our session db dot session dot delete. So you can see that at the end of the day, the, the database is going to handle the delete function. And I'm going to say pending delete task and let's commit the changes. So not there. Uh, DB dot session. Okay. Dot commit. There we go. So after the delete has happened, it has been deleted. Uh, we want to uh, redirect the user to the topic page uh, for the uh, to that topic specific topic page for that deleted task. So first off, what I am going to do is I'm going to go to our task class that we have. So here is our task class. And in the relationship, I'm going to add a back ref uh, argument. So I'm going to say back ref and I'm going to set it equal to the topic. Now, this will allow us to reference the associated topic from the task object. So we are not redirected anywhere else. We just want to go back to that individual topic for which we just deleted a task. So I just added that. We are right here. Now the next step is going to be the, to redirect. So I'm going to say return redirect URL 4. Uh, where do we want to redirect it? We, we want to redirect to this, um, to this URL, uh, display tasks. And what is the topic ID? The topic ID is going to be equal to the target, target topic ID. Let's save this and let's implement the uh, deletion functionality 
or uh, the deletion code in our HTML as well. So if I come in here, um, in here, let's go ahead and let's add that. Let me just uh, take a look at where should we add it. So I'm going to add it before this message. So what is going to be, what is it going to be? Now, hmm, I'm not going to add it here. First time I need to go over this concept one more time. Now, this line is responsible for creating individual tasks. And we want for every individual task to have an individual delete task button. So as many tasks we have, we want those many forms which are going to handle deletions. That's why we are going to add the form within this for loop because for every li, we want to have a form that is going to delete that li. All right, so we need to repeat the form as many times as there are allies. So I'm going to say form, form, and the action is going to be slash delete. Now, this URL is going to go to this one, slash delete, slash task, slash task ID, slash uh, task, slash now, where is the task ID? We don't want to hard code the task ID, right? It depends which task the user wants to delete. It has to be dynamic. So I'm going to say task dot task ID. Make sure you provide this task. This is the, this loop variable. And we know when we tap into that loop variables data, it's going to hold the task ID, the description, the title, all of the information. We grab the description and showed it there. We grab the ID and we show it here. And let's add a method of post. So it handles post methods. And what do we want to do in here? In here, I just want to provide an input with the type of submit and the value that is going to say uh, value, value that is going to say delete task and I think we are done in here so uh, let's run our server first I'm gonna copy the name so it's seven let's just copy that let's say in the terminal Python that's pi there we go let's run that so if I go to server is not running and now you can see here is the form. I'm going to add another task. So for every task, we are going to have that form repeated. So you can see for this one, the form is repeated. If I say task four, the form is repeated again. If I click on it, it throws an error. Uh, scoped object has no attribute commit. Attribute error, scoped session. So it throws an error. And that error is right here. So basically, we want to display the tasks, uh, display tasks, and the topic ID is going to be the target topic ID. Uh, we have said delete task ID, pending delete task dot query dot filter by. Hmm. All right. So we have target topic ID is going to be. Pending delete task dot topic dot topic ID uh, DB session delete pending delete task DB dot session dot there are three M's there should be only two M's so let's uh, go back refresh the page let's delete this and there we go it has been deleted delete this one there you go so if I go back to uh, our home page. So if I just come in here and if I go to CSS, let's add a couple of more tasks. And now if you click on it, it is going to delete that specific task. Of course, it's going to be deleted from the database as well. So if I say select from tasks, we just have one task and that is execute the current Python script in the terminal. Perfect. So we did uh, just make sure, uh, be aware of these typos they are going to be the logic is going to work all the time but the typos they're going to prevent your code from working now that we have the the functionality for individual tasks let's add the functionality for deleting individual uh, topics that have no tasks and topics that do have some tasks 
The URL is going to be delete slash topic. It is completely arbitrary. And then we are going to provide the topic ID. Uh, let's provide the methods, which is going to be post. And then let's create the view function that is going to handle it. So let me say def delete topic topic and we're going to pass in the topic id based on that topic id we, we are going to delete a topic so the uh, um, um, process is going to be in this, the same way we have pending top pending delete topic delete topic and we extract it from the topic class let's query it and we are going to say filter by because when the user clicks on the second topic, we don't want to delete the third one. We just want to delete the second one. So we are going to say the topic ID is equal to the topic ID. And we are going to say first just to get in a record rather than an iterable. Dot session. Come on. Dot uh, delete. Pending delete topic. And then db dot session db dot session dot commit with two m's this time and after the topic has been deleted we want to return redirect url4 to which page to the display uh, topics page save that now we need to handle this the four for every topic as well so what we are going to do is we need to add that uh, topic deletion form uh, for every topic that we have as well. And okay, so let me go into this. Where do we want it to be added? It's not in the home page. Sorry, it's in the tasks page. So because it is standalone, I'm not going to add it inside anything. So I'm just going to create another div. I'm going to give it a class of delete and just uh, dash topic. And I'm going to say form. The action is going to go to delete slash uh, topic slash. Now, we don't want to hard code the topic ID. Therefore, we're going to say topic dot topic ID. Don't forget the topic dot part. And then we need to have an input so the user can delete the, the topic by clicking that input. So we are going to have an input, which is the type of submit. The value for it is going to say delete this, this topic. There we go. So let me just lowercase this O. Um, I think we are done in here. Okay, so let's save this. Let's run this application one more time. Let's come in here. Let's try to go to the home page. So I'm here. I'm going to refresh the page. So CSS property not being applied. If I click on delete this topic, method not allowed. The, the method is not allowed for the requested URL. Didn't we provide that inside here? Methods post delete topic we did provide it right here so it's delete slash topic id uh, action slash delete slash topic slash topic dot topic id and submit delete this topic i mean it, it is work it's oh we didn't provide that method post in here so now let's save that let's go back refresh the page and if I click on it, there we go. It has been deleted. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try some stuff. So I'm going to delete this topic as well. Now, those two topics, they didn't have any tasks, but this one does have a task. So if you click on it, not only the topic is deleted, but the task is deleted as well. So inside our database, if I say from tasks, it shows that we do have some task in here. Uh, if I go to topics, it doesn't show any topics. And if I go to tasks, uh, okay, I deleted it here. So I'm just going to, you know, I'm just going to minimize this. Let's try to add a topic. 
and to this topic I'm gonna add a task and another task let's go back to our home page let's add another topic so there we go let's say select all from the topics so we have task one and task four all from the topics we have this now if I say uh, if I go in here and if I delete this topic and if I go in here and if I delete this topic let's refresh this and now if you take a look at these it should be updated there we go this one is updated but what about this one this one is not being updated and I'm not sure why this is not being updated it should be updated we don't have these tasks anymore because we have deleted them so if I add that if I go in there it doesn't have any task so let's come in here let's say select all from tasks select all from topics we do have this hmm so there we go let me just close this connection open it up again local host postgres 5432 postgres this and let's say select let's connect to our database uh, blog underscore poster you're now connected uh, backslash Q is gonna completely uh, press any key to continue it's gonna close that all right mm, local host I'm gonna go quick postgres uh, 5432 postgres now let's say backslash c blog underscore poster as user postgres let's say select all the columns from the uh, from the topics table so we do have one topic and if I say from the tasks table we still have these tasks even though they are deleted from our application so if I delete this we don't have any more topics in there hmm. let me just uh, close the server close come on buddy close the server run it again there we go save that it shouldn't show any topics any tasks in there I mean when the topic is deleted the task has to be deleted as well and I think I know what the problem is in here the problem is that we did not provide any cascade argument did we in the class in the because we didn't specify that whenever a topic is deleted I want to delete all of the relevant tasks for that topic we didn't do that right so what I'm going to do is I need to provide that in here as well so first off I'm gonna grab the task and I'm gonna say DB dot relationship relation so it's all relationship problems so we have DB the relationship now we have had a relationship from task to topic but no topic to task this is going to establish that relationship it's going to go to the task class and then we are going to say cascade cascade and we are going to set it to all now the problem is that we have orphan tasks and you heard it right that is a programming term we do have orphan tasks uh, what orphan tasks mean is um, it means that uh, their parent which was the topic when we deleted those the parent we didn't delete the children we didn't delete the orphan I mean it's it sounds horrible but it is the terminology that I have to use because we uh, literally we have this terminology when you delete the um, um, uh, I'm gonna put it in a better way so this cascade this will update the task object as the topic object object is being updated it will also delete the task objects if they become disassociated with the topic object as a result we delete a topic object all the associated tasks will be deleted with it so that is like putting it in a, a little bit better so I'm gonna say delete orphan let's save this and now let's refresh the page 
let's uh, take a look at our tasks we do have those tasks so I'm gonna say delete from uh, tasks so now let's take a look at our tasks we don't have any tasks right so we are going to try to add them again and just test our application it has been added let's add another one as well so this one is going to have one task two tasks I don't know like three tasks we could delete individual tasks but I'm not gonna delete it and this uh, topic is not gonna have any tasks now let's go ahead and let's take a look at it so from the uh, from this topic with the ID of seven I want to delete this task number one so if I click on it now let's take a look at our database from tasks there we go so what do we have here we have task 4 and task 2 task 4 and task 2 they belong to the topic ID which is 7 there we go so they belong to that topic ID now uh, let's take a look at the topics as well we have only two topics now if I delete this topic refresh this and if I come in here now all the orphan tasks must be deleted with it right so there we go so now we don't have any tasks why because we have specified the cascade all delete orphan so all the task objects associated with that specific topic will be deleted as well and if I delete this one delete topic and if we come in here we don't have any topics and we don't have any tasks so with this uh, this lecture comes to an end uh, actually the entire functionality of our project has ended right now and right here what I'm going to do in the next lecture is we are going to go over the styling of this application the functionality is done just the styling is remaining and I'm going to cover that in one lecture we are going to change the markup a little bit uh, and we are going to add some uh, st CSS styling and two background images see you in the next lecture